Hey guys, it's Social Media Producer Tom, and today's Chicago scene has about 100 stories up on top of the former John Hancock Center on 360 Chicago. Did I get that right, Nicole? You got it, Tom. It will always be the Hancock to us, but it is 875 North Michigan Avenue, and we are 1,050 feet above Michigan Avenue at 360 Chicago. Right, and so you guys are closed right now. So this is kind of a sneak peek behind the scenes, what people can expect uh, when you guys, whenever it is that we are allowed to reopen all of the attractions around Chicago. You're gonna kind of give us a little sneak peek and just for people who just wanna see the city from up above who haven't gotten the chance to see it. You got it. So the city um, looks beautiful today. You picked a great day to come visit us virtually. Thanks for being here. Uh, yeah, no problem. Closed, and uh, you know, we are, respecting the governor's orders and keeping our guests and our team members safe. Um, but we are anxious to reopen our doors and welcome visitors back to 360 Chicago as soon as we can. Uh, but we'll start over here, take a look out our east windows, which look us out over uh, Lake Michigan. Oh yeah, uh, that never gets old. Traffic on Lakeshore Drive is pretty light. Uh, you know, the city has turned so green in the weeks that we've been closed. We closed in mid-March. Mm -hmm. um, there may have even been a little bit of snow on the ground still, and now you can see the city looks summery and springtime, and the trees are starting to bud, and uh, yeah, Chicago looks beautiful from, from up here today. Is there any, uh, I know in some people say that you can see certain landmarks from this end. Is there anything that you can see that, or that you want to point out from this angle? Well, you know, uh, from up here, you can actually see four states. So if you look directly across the lake at us, it's a clear enough day that you may be able to see the state of Michigan. Ah, and then okay. just looking south from here, you're going to see the state of Indiana. And as we make our way around, you'll see Wisconsin as well. Okay. Okay. And well, our location see... really gives us a great view of Lake Michigan, as well as the harbor system. Uh, unfortunately, if you look just to the south of us here, the harbors are uh, empty. Which oh, is yeah, they're still cool yeah. for the first week in May. Um, but we're looking forward to seeing the boats pop into those as soon as they're open. Yeah, you can also see what looks like the um, Navy Pier right there and the and Olive Park, right? Yeah, that's right. And that's the water purification plant right there that provides all of the drinking water for Chicago and a lot of our neighboring suburbs. And uh, did you know it's actually the largest freshwater purification plant system in uh, the world? I did not know. I did not know that. Fun fact of the day. <laughs> And I think we're also looking at the uh, right there-ish is the uh, what people call the playpen. Is that right? That's right. Yeah, we're looking yeah. right at the playpen. So <laughs> if you don't know what it is, you know if you saw it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you come back this summer to visit us, you'll see sometimes hundreds of boats rafted up together uh, in the playpen, having a good time and enjoying the uh, the elusive Chicago summer. <laughs> yeah. So where do you usually go to from here? All right, so let's head over this way. We're going to take a look at the north end. The north end. So right now we're walking through what looks like the gift shop and all the fun accoutrements of the things that you can buy. Yep, that's right. We've got a time capsule here that went on the roof of the building when it was topped off in 1968. And two years ago, we opened it on the 50th anniversary and have some oh. of that over here. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. What was the cool, what was the most random thing that was in there? I see a baseball. Uh, well, there was a piece of the Eiffel Tower in there, and there was a piece of the banister from John Hancock, the founding father's Boston home. Those huh. were a little surprising. I wonder if they need that piece back to the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> They've been looking for it. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, we of course have our, our famous Lego model of the building. And if yeah. you zoom in really closely up here, it even has its own little tilt. Oh, very cool. <laughs> and the and you got the lights going and the whole thing. That's right, yeah. And this brings so, us to the north end. So here you can see uh, Lincoln Park in the zoo, uh, as well as Lakeshore Drive, and on off in the distance is Wisconsin. Looking so some out there. On Street Beach. Oak Street Beach, Michigan Avenue, or North Avenue Beach out there with the little curl, right? Yep, that's right, yeah. The and as you can house. see, it's still a socially distant uh, day today. That's why there's not many cars and the lakefront is closed. But you can see Lincoln Park, like you said, and then off in the distance out there, I'm sure Wrigley Field somewhere out there. 
Yeah, that's right. So this street just to the left of Lincoln Park is Clark Street. If you follow that out, you might be able to see the lights of Wrigley Field. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I think. And yeah, the, the boathouse on North Avenue. I think there's lots of people anxious to get out and have a cocktail at uh, Castaways when it opens. Absolutely. And a little maybe some volleyball on the beach, the whole thing, right? Yeah, yeah. So you can see Wisconsin that way. And then as we head, what are we going to go west, correct? That's right. Yeah. So we're going to walk down this long, very quiet, empty uh, hallway here and we'll head over to the west side. And when we reopen, we want to make sure that you come visit us so that we can buy you a drink in uh, Bar 94, uh, so which guys, is the highest bar in the city of Chicago. Wow. And, I didn't uh, know there was a bar up there. That's we, fun. We do have a bar up here. Yeah. You got the keys um, or what? What was that? I said, do you have the keys? <laughs> do I? I might have the keys, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think well, it's just you uh, you and Rob up there right now. You guys got the whole place to your... What's it like to have the whole place to yourself? It's kind of cool. It's a very unique experience, I would imagine. It is. You know, it's, it's peaceful. Um, we'd much rather have a couple hundred of our guests up here uh, enjoying the views with us, but it is pretty interesting to come up here and uh, to get these views all to ourselves. Do you go up here and have lunch every day? Not every day, but sometimes. I don't blame you. Uh, so what are we looking at right now? We are looking west. So now we're looking west. That's right. So you can imagine uh, this is quite the uh, hot spot during our sunset. Yeah, and I heard also a hot spot for thunderstorms. Yes, that's right. That uh, is on my to-do list for Chicago bucket lists. Yeah, definitely need to come here when we have storms rolling. And we also do uh, photography seminars uh, with some of our favorite photographers that will come up here and teach uh, the audience how to shoot storms and how to catch the perfect sunset through our windows. Uh, so definitely uh, keep an eye on our, our website and our social media channels because we're looking forward to restarting those as well. And we have definitely the stadium seating looking out towards the, the west there. So beyond, you can probably somewhere make out the United Center and the Kennedy and uh, the uh, west and south loop ish areas yeah that's exactly right so you might see the the white dome roof of the united center out there just south of that is the medical district oh yeah you can there see it is. the north branch of the river running along the kennedy here also so would you say that this is one of the if you could the most popular spot is the west side of the building this view more of the popular area well, I would say it's probably the corner we're coming up to here, which is our uh, our southwest corner, because that okay. gives you the west sunset view, but also we have a spectacular view of downtown in the loop. So we'll take a look at that as well. For sure. How many people do you usually have come up here on a daily basis? Oh, goodness. In the summer, we welcome thousands of people up here. So we can wow. see four or 5,000 on a busy Saturday. So this is the view. This is the uh, view. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, hi, city. How are you? <laughs> the best view in the city. Um, looking south, straight down Michigan Avenue. So we are directly above the Magnificent Mile here. Uh, you can look down on Water Tower Place and Historic Water Tower Park, um, all the way down Michigan Avenue to the river, and then ultimately into the loop. Wow, that's spectacular. It never gets old. It never gets old. And you know, the view's different every single day. Yeah, I imagine weather has a huge part in that, correct? <laughs> weather and the seasons and uh, you know, the, the light, the, the, depending on the position of the sun, the light in the city is completely different in the winter than it is in the summer. So yeah. it really gives you a, a, a unique and a ever-changing perspective on, uh, on our beautiful city that we're so lucky to call home. Uh, and one of the attractions that you guys have uh, on top in 360 Chicago is the uh, famous tilt, right? That's right. Yeah. Head on over here. And we'll, so uh, this is our, I'm going to walk with you as we're doing this together um, to see like, the, why don't you explain to people what it is and how it works? You got it. So uh, tilt is the first of its kind in the world. We actually have an international patent on it. And Tilt was designed by uh, the incredible engineers at Thornton Tomasetti. It is a steel and glass structure that is going to actually tilt us out over the side of the building to 30 degrees. Come That's kind of terrifying, but okay, I'm with you. 
Yep, let me get position. I got my seatbelt down. I'm ready to go. <laughs> All right. So there's eight fades. You have your pick a fade. I'll pick one myself and then uh, we'll check it out. Okay. I would do this all the time if I had this place to myself. <laughs> <laughs> No, that looks terrifying just looking at it. And how long does it usually last as the, as the full tilt? How long does it usually last? Uh, so about a minute and a half. Oh, that looks so cool. It almost gives you the feeling like you're flying. I don't know if she can hear me. It looks pretty cool. It like, feels like you're flying. It does feel like you're flying. We are uh, looking straight down the building. You can see the cross blue for the hand top. All right, let's see that view. All right, let's see straight down. There it goes. <laughs> yeah, you can literally see the side of the building that you're hanging over. Oh, that's funny. So what's the music that plays for the tilt? What's the music that plays for the tilt? I don't think she heard me. Well, is, there a, so is there a soundtrack that goes along with the tilt? I heard uh, yeah, some music playing. Yeah, that's what we hear in the background. Is it something specific? Is it tilt specific? Yes, it is. And we had it specifically to, uh, uh, written for tilt. Oh, OK. That's pretty neat. So what's that? Oh, you guys, Everybody just like if you're giving. Sure. We'll have to send like, you yours virtually. Yeah, it's just like if you're giving blood or voting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a badge of honor. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And when we reopen, you'll have to make sure to come and we'll give you your sticker in person. Yeah, we'll have to come. Maybe we'll set it for sunset and we'll have a, uh, a cocktail to go with it right on those stadium stairs that we saw a little bit earlier. That sounds like a date. That's perfect. All right, All right that's great. Well, I appreciate that uh, you took time out of your afternoon to give me this little virtual behind the scenes tour. And uh, I, I cannot wait, I'm sure along with everybody else in the city, cannot wait till the city reopens. Uh, one more time again for the website, uh, for information for people to check on all that stuff for you. Yeah, Tom, thanks so much for being here. It was our pleasure to show you around and we can't wait to welcome you in person uh, along with all of our team members and our guests. We miss you guys. We can't wait for the city to reopen. In the meantime, stay safe. Our website is 360chicago.com. All right, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it and I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Okay. Stay safe. Take care.